I don't know I'm going to play some mini motor wins today. I'm thinking I'm going to play the Wellington map. I have a top 1% finish in Wellington, as I do with all of the maps, but this one I noticed that I am 2,396th place on the on the list, so I'm going to try and improve that and do my best to share tips and tricks along the way. Wellington is a map that has mountains and water, so you'll be using tunnels, bridges, motorways, pretty much everything. As I always do, I play through time speed when I first start. As the game starts a little slow. I'm not going to do any sort of uh, building blocking. I'll just let whatever needs to spawn, I will let it spawn. So since these yellow houses are so close to the mountain, I think I'm going to take them up around the north side. Do it now before I can't. And take it around the north side and down this direction. This just will uh, future proof I'm going to have to go this way and create a road here. This will future proof um, my traffic for yellow. And this little offshoot I have created will allow me to create another avenue for the traffic. So, orange, I'm going to take north and then through the mountain. I'm going to give a couple blocks worth of space for more yellows to spawn, hopefully. There's plenty of space. So hopefully I'll get another tunnel and I'll be able to use it for these yellows and they'll go around the top, but for now we'll just leave it connected to the same network here. I will, however, segregate the traffic here so there isn't a slowdown. So yeah, I got another tunnel. I'm going to go ahead and use it here. And just for now, I'm going to throw it into that same roundabout. Part of the downside of playing in three times speed is that um, you get this, like, uh, these gray houses that spawned while I was drawing the road. If I had been faster, then my road would have gone straight and um, this this gray house would have spawned somewhere else. So if you want to avoid that, you can play at a slower speed or you can pause the game when a new building shows up. I 
my options are limited at this time, so let's see what we can do. It's Sunday, so I'm about to get some new road tiles. When I do, I will continue this. I'm going to choose the road tiles for now. I don't always choose a motorway, especially when I don't necessarily need it at the time. So I'm going to remove this roundabout here. You segregate the yellow traffic here, and then also I can use the roundabout now where I'm splitting up traffic for the gray and the pink. I like the way this looks better for the grays. I don't know that it makes a whole lot of difference, but it does make the main avenue straighter, which should, you know, in real life it would help at least. Pretty sure there is always a yellow up in this top corner in Wellington. Right. So since these yellows up here have spawned all together. I will redraw this road and get rid of um, this tunnel. And I'm going to redraw the yellow line to use this roundabout. So we now have access down here. This will be temporary because it, it is not ideal for so many colors to use the same road. So as soon as I can, I'm going to reroute. Actually, I just saw I can reroute these grays to not actually use this road if I have enough tiles. I may not. So what I will do is do this access road. I need a couple more tiles, but I think I'll gain them pretty quick here. Yeah. So these grays are no longer using this long stretch of road, which will help with the traffic quite a bit. I don't see any easy way to use these blues without just going for a motorway for now. So I'll do that. Disconnect this that way, these pinks cannot get to this shop.
I didn't pause the game, but I went ahead and slowed it down. So I'm going to just wait for my uh, road tiles to come in. It is almost the end of the week. Alright, so I've got another tunnel or 40 road tiles. I actually need a bridge, so I'm not going to be able to do it the way I want to. Looks like I'm going to have to do a temporary road. A very long temporary road up here until I get a bridge. So let's see. I'm going to reconnect these grays into this network for now. And I'm going to connect these grays into the same network. Just so I don't uh, lose while we're waiting for, for a bridge. I think. I will take these two grays using yep. use my uh, tunnel. So those two will take care of this gray by itself. But that will be it. So I'm really going to need either a motorway or a bridge for these grays that are spawning. Otherwise this round is not going to last very much longer. Try to encourage this road down here on the south side to be used a little bit more. So we got a bridge. Would have actually preferred a motorway, I think. But this will do the job. So. This is going to give us a lot of road tiles back. And eliminate a lot of traffic from, from the gray line. So this, this number of grays here will easily service that. So while it's still early, I will take take that blue road up there 
I think I can get a roundabout in up there if I don't get any houses spawning. I don't have a roundabout to use right now, but I prefer to use a roundabout as opposed to a junction like this. So I need a way to get these orange houses to this shop. The only efficient way would be a motorway, but we can't always wait on those. It's possible I'll lose before I get one, but there isn't a lot I can do about it right now. I mean, without creating multiple junctions. But at the end of the day, right now, I don't. I may actually just lose this round really early here. Yeah, this is going to be a game over. Just an unlucky spawn with oranges, and uh, the fact that I chose tiles over a couple of motorways. Go for a restart. That was a pretty quick round. We're only 16 minutes in. So this farm is a little farther north. Last time it was down here. So I'm assuming that I'm going to get a pink shop up here and well pink or orange and then houses. Yeah. We'll go right next to the shop there. No houses can spawn there anyway, so we still have room for a road. I'm not going to draw one in because it may it may not ever be needed. But yeah, a lot of times uh, on this map in particular, I lose on that orange, this first orange house that always spawns. Uh, ideally, you get more orange houses next to each other here. Got to be quick. Make sure that you get them attached and try to leave space around the orange houses when they do spawn. So I redrew these pinks here to keep the roads as short as possible. Um, it gives you it gives you the best chance of um, no slowdowns. Well, not best chance, but there there won't be an intersection created if if a house is directly attached to the road. So I'm going to go as far north as it allows and then hook down around the building and then this way. Actually, there's, there's not much good way to do this. Let's see here. With how close together these are, there isn't an easy way to get all of these, um, all of the traffic in without crossing over at all. Can't get two roads through there. Yeah, without making a very long road, there's no way to do it. What I'm going to end up with, well, that would be I'm going to put a roundabout in 
somewhere if I can. So I can go. Yeah, there's no good place for a roundabout either. Um, what I'll end up doing, I'll probably end up having to put pink onto a motorway. I don't really want to put a roundabout down here because pink and yellow are both circles right here. So when the demand goes high, they'll bog down that the roundabout and you'll lose from that. All right, I'm going to pause for now so I make sure to get this road threaded in here. Since it's so long, I'm going to take two houses, even though this one is a circle and will have higher demand. Last round I didn't take motorways every time I could have and it probably cost me the game. I needed one more motorway for the orange houses to connect properly. So this time around, unless I'm really hurting for road tiles, I will choose a motorway every time. So right now we have uh, four pink houses, well, no, five pink houses attached. This is cutting into the territory where I'm hoping to have some orange houses spawn in here. Um, especially since I don't have any direct route to get um, a road up in here. Alright, so I'm going to redraw this yellow road, which is already intersecting with the pink. I can't put. Um, can't get around that this time without using a really short motorway, which I really don't want to do. I don't like that steep connection. I haven't seen anything from Dinosaur Polo Club as to whether or not this connection um, is slower or faster than this. Other than that, it's just one extra tile of road. But I think the cars drive faster with this method. Yeah. I changed my mind already. I always do that. Um, I am going to use a motorway for the pinks so that I don't have any conflicting traffic anymore. So I grabbed a tunnel as opposed to a roundabout. Later in the game, roundabouts are very important, but I don't have any tunnels, and we've got three specific peninsulas of uh, uh, mountain peaks that we may have to tunnel through, so it's important to future-proof and have the tunnels you need. So we have uh, six pink houses attached here, and six at the bottom. Perfect ratio, even ratio, and we even have these two of which are spawned closer. So they will take up the bulk of the traffic until the uh, demand rises considerably. 
This actually looks like a much more friendly spawn than the last round. Alright, I have 37 road tiles, so I'm comfortable grabbing a motorway right now. Um, I probably have a bunch more orange houses spawn up here. At which time I will hopefully still have a motorway available. Alright, so we have three here. These two will feed that one. So I'm going to delete this bridge. Straighten this road up a little bit. And I'm going to motorway over to this yellow. Now this spawn's been much more friendly for traffic than the first round. I do have two. I have uh, two tunnels, so I could straight straight drive over, which I think I'm leaning towards. Even though I could use a roundabout and then attach. <coughs> I could use a roundabout for these blues and attach uh, via this highway, but that also would allow all of these yellows up here to go down through here and then on the highway all the way over here. And I don't want them to be able to do that. So this way we'll eliminate that. All right, so I went, I went south by one block here to get not only around this pink, but also to eliminate the possibility of a building spawning to the south of this road. If it spawns to the north, I can move the road one tile south, which isn't a problem, but I could not um, deal with it as easily if it's to the south, because I would then need those three blocks for the building plus a road block above and that would be very tight. Getting the bad gray spawns again. That's better though. So these grays I'm going to tie up into this one. And then hopefully we get more spawn here. Which I'm going to... I'll be able to bridge directly this way. And then north once I get a bridge, but for now I'll have to temporarily intersect all of those colors and get some more road tiles. Let's see, so I'm not using that road tile. I'm not technically using that road tile. One, two, all right. So we have just enough. We didn't, oh, it was the end of a week anyway, 40 road tiles. So I'm going to add on those tiles I deleted. Yeah, too slow. All right. Let's get a pause real quick. We don't have any tunnels available. So Thinking, I don't know if I can get. Okay, I can. I can get a roundabout in right here. I'll show you how I'm going to use that. Like this. So this will give pink traffic its own road gray traffic will have its own road and I can use the roundabout um, to eliminate any intersection. I 
be great if I had a bridge so I didn't have to intersect all of this other color traffic. Which I do plan on taking diagonally right there. That one just won't get used at all for now. Alright, so I will take a roundabout. I guess this is one tile shorter, so I might as well do it there. So I'm getting enough grays up at the top that I'm going to disconnect those. Take, uh, I'm going to take the roundabout. Because I would like to use it right here. That way the blues driving through don't have to slow down nearly as much. Just getting a ton of grays coming through. So I'm going to take take a road up in here and give gray uh, another route to get over here until I get no, I don't. I don't have very many um, motorways available. Which has been the downfall of this map for me. Hopefully, at the end of this week. Okay, I got a bridge, which is okay, but not great. I'm going to go ahead and use it here for these grays to take all that traffic away from uh, the intersections here. So I need to find a way to get blue up here, which I think I'm going to... do it this way. That gets it all the way up here without using any extra tiles. It's not ideal by any means, but it should keep the round alive for now. The demand will be fairly low. For, for a minute or two at least. Ideally, I'll get a motorway here in a second. Looks like the blues are going to just make it up there. Which they did. thinking towards the future when I get a motorway I'm going to take it up here and uh, just connect the blue over here alright so I have a motorway I also have an idea here so let's leave 
goes for maybe this fifth blue attached to that line. The rest of these are getting a direct motorway over here. So now we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay. I don't think I need quite that many grays attached. And then all the rest of these grays will have uh, access. Blues are still going to take that road. I would like to create a faster route for gray to get up here. So I'm going to straighten this road out. So it'll be determined down here at this roundabout which gray structure the traffic is going to. Rather than all of it taking this road, half of it will go down here now. Hopefully that will eliminate a future bottleneck. So this roundabout is added for the pink traffic, obviously. It's not going to be used. I guess it can just stay here for now. That, that'll that allow a pink to spawn there. But yeah, this roundabout will allow pink traffic to split off and then feed that one up there. Easy. Now is about the time to start hurting for a motorway uh, for the orange. The orange demand is going to skyrocket, and if I don't get another motorway in the next week, then um, this will start bogging down. We actually have a third orange house this round. Last round we only had two. So it will um, be better than last time at least. I don't have any way to get those pinks attached. If I get a tunnel, I could bring them over here. And I'm going to do so right here. In case more spawn down here, I'll be able to attach them as well. slow things down. These two do not need so I'm going to pause redraw these gray lines my computer's thinking hard and how they thinking? Alright, so now these cream colored ones can get up here. The rest of these cannot get to where they need to go. We may have to just tie that in even though I don't want to. The, the demand on this cream colored building was high immediately for some reason. So 
We've got the end of a week coming up here. Hopefully, hopefully there'll be a motorway that comes in and we'll be able to figure out some some slowdown to the traffic here. No motorway. Um, I suppose I'll choose a roundabout. I'm hoping to get a, an express route for gray right here. But I'm going to need a tunnel to do so. I suppose we could add all of these houses that are attached to the main road. I can add all of them in down here to uh, speed up the traffic on this road. because all these grays are wanting to turn left. If they can go through the roundabout instead, that should speed things up a little bit. I don't think this round is long for this world with uh, this, this gray demand is very high and I guess these two grays can turn right so they would be faster yeah they would have been faster 1974 get a screenshot here This is a very difficult map, especially if you only get uh, a couple of uh, motorways. Let's have a look. Yeah, 1974 is 1300 or so under my high. I will call it a uh, video for now. Uh, let me know if you've got a favorite round you'd like me to play and talk through my ideas on what's going on while I play it.